Hey guys, so this is my review of the Ruger LCP Max. Um, by the way, thank you for all my subscribers. I reached 100 subscribers and I'm super excited about that. Um, thank you guys. And let's get to the review. So this is um, the LCP Max. It is chambered in 380 auto, something like that. Like that comes in 10 rounds or 12 um, the front sight is tritium it's a tritium night sight so it actually glows in the dark you don't need it's not like fiber optic where it needs to catch some light it's actually it actually glows in the dark and the rear sights are black they come black but I painted mine white with from a little bit of paint from a hobby shop. The takedown is quite simple. You just need to pull that pin out with a flathead screwdriver. And it just slides forward. It's nothing. That's, that's about it. And the mag release is reversible. So you can put it on the right side of the gun if you are a lefty. I'm not sure how to do that. But I'm sure your local gun store could do that for you. And it's quite small, compact. If you see the single stack right here compared to the double stack, the LCP or the LCP2 in 380 is a single stack, so that the grip is actually a lot thinner than the LCP Max. You probably can't tell on video, but the grip is a little bit thicker by feel. And a lot of people complain that this little pistol is quite snappy. But I think the reliability of this pistol comes from that snappiness. Because it blows back with enough force to make sure the round ejects. Empty cases eject. And I have not had a single malfunction out of the 500 rounds that I have shot. And I was waiting to get at least 500 rounds through this pistol before I did my full in-depth review. I didn't want to just shoot it once at the range and give you guys a review. But now that I have shot 500 rounds, I can give you my personal opinion and I would say this is very reliable. Um, some people on YouTube said they they have trouble with some other types of ammunition, but um, round nose, um, Winchester white box or bulk ammo, I've not had a single problem with or or hollow points. So I would recommend this gun. It's quite light and the trigger is is pretty nice. It's slightly spongy but tough. Um, so if it's racked, it's safe, it's racked. If you pull on the trigger, that's a slack. Um, there is a trigger safety. So if you don't pull that back, it won't go back at all. But if you get to the trigger wall <clears throat> right here, um, it's a little spongy, then it breaks. The reset and then the spongy and it breaks. It's pretty nice. It's not too bad, but you have to realize that there's no uh, safety switch. So the tough trigger is more of a safety feature. I I think this is a great little pistol. It holds 10, better than the 6, and it's always better to be able to carry more ammo. It does come with a 12-round magazine. 
and a 10 round magazine. Um, you just put it in this little holster. You just put it in your pocket and it just disappears. And if you are having trouble with uh, getting your shots on target, try dry firing it. So after you shoot a magazine at the range, take the mag out and just practice dry firing a few times. And if you see yourself, um, when you pull the trigger, if you see yourself, uh, if, the, if you see the barrel dipping, the nose dipping a little bit as you pull the trigger, uh, you're probably just rushing your trigger pull. So maybe take your time with it and slowly pull on the trigger until you feel that break. So you might just need to practice your trigger control. And in the next video, I show myself limp wristing this pistol because a lot of full size pistols have been known to jam because they don't fully blow back the slide. So let's get to that video. Um, thank you for watching. If you'd like and subscribe to the, to the channel, I'd appreciate it very much.